In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert some brigs into a sloop of war or sixth rate. And in this particular video, I will be painting it up in the colors of the US Navy, specifically the USS Wasp. For this project, we're going to be kit bashing two sets of brigs. You'll need a good pair of hobby snippers, a sharp modeling knife, some plastic glue, and some sprue goo, which I will show you how to make in the upper right hand corner. Let's start by cutting out these top deck pieces. You'll need two of them. Use your modeling knife to cut off any excess sprue leftovers. For the first piece, which is going to represent the front half of the ship, you'll want to cut it right where this red line is. This allows you to have two holes for the mass. The best way to cut this is to use your hobby snippers. Now cut them right here, cut with one side first, and then swing it over to the other side to cut it off completely. You will keep the front half of this piece, just use your hobby knife and clean off any uneven edges. And the front top deck should look like this. For the second half of the top deck, which is the rear portion, you're going to want to cut it off right here. This will give enough spacing between the main and mizzen mass. The red line here shows you where to cut. It should be just forward of the fourth set of guns. Very similar to the front piece, I used the hobby snippers and I cut along the red line that I was showing earlier. Just like before, use your hobby knife and just clean up the edge so it's nice and straight. And the front and rear pieces should go together like this. Apply plastic glue to one piece and then slide the pieces together, put them on your hobby table and allow them to completely set. While that is setting, cut out two sets of brig hull pieces, the left hand and the right hand side. You'll need two sets. Using the combined top deck, you should be able to figure out where you need to cut the side hull pieces. You will again be using your hobby snippers for this. Cut out the left hand and the right hand for the front. And like before, you want to clean up the edges with your hobby knife. Just kind of clean them out, make them nice and even. Now combine the two cut front pieces together with some plastic glue and glue them together like this and you'll get the front end of the ship. Apply some plastic glue onto the top here. And just to help guide everything together a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and put the upper deck onto it at this point. This will give you a better guide to cut the rear portion. Like the front, you'll be eyeballing where you're going to make your cuts and using the hobby snippers, cut out the rear, left hand and right hand in similar fashion. Combine the two halves of the rear pieces together with plastic glue and at this point you're ready to combine it with the rest of the hull. To do this, apply plastic glue onto this area where the hulls are going to be combined together and also onto this attachment platform for the upper deck. Slide the hull pieces together and if everything was measured correctly, they should end up looking like this. Next, you'll want to use sprue goo, which you can put on the sides and the bottoms of the hull to seal up any of the gaps or inconsistencies in these areas. You can also use green stuff putty in this area if you have that available. While we're waiting for the sprue goo to dry, you'll cut out two of these foremasts and one of these longer mizzen masts. Also cut out one brick bowsprit and one set of spanker sail boom and gaffs. We will give this ship a pair of anchors, so I cut out two of those. On the brick mizzen mast, there are two features for the spanker sails. Cut them off, we don't need those. Use a hobby clipper to snip them, and then after that, a hobby knife to clean up. Also use the hobby knife to clean up any leftover sprue bits. Attach the bowsprit like you would with any brig. Apply plastic glue in this area, slide the bowsprit in, and then adjust it for alignment. Put some plastic glue in all three mass holes, the fore, the main, and the mizzen. And we're going to use the brig fore mass for both the fore and the mizzen and use the mizzen mass for the main. 
Note where the front facings of these masks are before attaching them, but put one of the four masks in the fore and then use the mizzen mask for the main and use the other brick fore mask for the mizzen. Before the glue sets, you'll want to adjust all the masks from the side as well as the front to make sure that they're standing upright and correctly. Apply some plastic glue to the front of the cat heads and put both anchors onto these areas. For the spanker sail, the longer one is the boom which goes at the bottom and the shorter one is the gaff that goes on top. Put some plastic glue in these areas of the mizzen mass here and here and then put the boom in this area and adjust it so it's almost horizontal. Put the gaff on the upper section here and adjust it so it's a little bit of a diagonal. Once the sprue glue is dry, you can use a good file like this one from Army Painter and just file off any of the rough edges. It also has very sharp angles that you can get into hard to reach areas a little bit easier. To make this ship easier to transport, you can magnetize it by drilling an 11 by 64 inch hole in the middle of the ship. Next, use a 1x4mm round rare earth magnet like I'm showing here and super glue it into the hole that you just drilled earlier. And here is a 360 degree view of the new Sloop of War that we just kitbashed. And here is the Sloop of War compared to a 5th rate frigate. To paint the ship in the colors of the US Navy or any of the other major nations, I am going to refer you to an earlier video that I did in the upper right hand corner. Since I'm referring you to that video, I will not go through the step by step, but I will include video montages of how I painted the ship in the colors of the USS Wasp. And as always, before we move on to rigging, make sure to fully varnish your ship at least twice with matte varnish. Rigging a sloop of war is very similar to rigging a frigate or other three masted ships. And once again, I will be including a video in the upper right hand corner on how to rig three masted ships. Just go ahead and follow that guide, but I'm also including video of the highlights of how I did this ship. Here is a 360 degree view of a fully painted and rigged sloop of war so you can take a look at the work that you've done and that everything is in the right place. For the sails of the sloop of war, since this is based on brigs, we're going to be using two sets of brig sails. Specifically, we're going to be using two sets of fore sails and one set of mizzen mast sails and then just one set of jib sails and one spanker sail. For a guide on how to apply sails, flags, and rat lines onto the sloop of war, this is again very similar to three masted ships and I will include that video on the upper right hand corner as well. Go ahead and feel free to jump to that video to see how these steps are done.
A quick note about the rat lines, you're going to be using two sets of four mass rat lines and one mizzen mass rat lines, which means that two sets are going to be the smaller ones and one set's going to be the larger one. The small set goes on the four mass, the larger one goes on the main mass, and the last small one goes on the mizzen mass. Use glass superglue, not regular superglue, to prevent fogging, and then use tweezers and toothpicks to put the rat lines in place. The final step is to put on the flags. You'll use one set of brig flags, which includes the ensign, the smaller flag, as well as the pennant. I also use an identifier flag to help me tell my ships apart. And here is the ship card for the Sloop of War. You can go ahead and email me and I will send you a free PDF. And with that, your kit bash Sloop of War is done. Here is a view of the USS Wasp. Ready to capture merchant ships and do battle against ships from the British Navy. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to build your own Sloop of War. As always, happy hobbying and happy wargaming. I'll see you in the next video.